Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, we've got a new cigar from a new company, Ferio Tigo. And this is the Generoso 6x50. They also have a Connecticut version, different blend, called the Elegancia. Uh, Fierro Tigo means I strike, I defend. Now, this is uh, started. This company by former Nat Sherman International employees Michael Herklotz and Brandon Scott. The cigars are produced in uh, the uh, Elegancia, uh, are produced in uh, by the uh, Quesada family in their factory in uh, Lycee, Dominican Republic. But today I have chosen to look at the Generoso, which is produced by the Placencias in their Esteli, uh, Esteli factory in Nicaragua. The blend features a Honduran shade grown wrapper over Nicaraguan binders and fillers. These cigars come in one size, both and only one, six by 50. This is it, and there's the density, by the way. Has an average feel in the hand, not very heavy. Now these cigars are not inexpensive. Boxes of 10 are $210 or $21 a piece. So that's sort of uh, the long and the short of it. Try to get right to the review. So let's do it. The Ferio Tigo Generoso. Okay. Two things. One, there is still time to enter the underground humid humidor contest. Plenty of time. And if you're real observant and you found this out, I already did. Nobody told me, but I have my dates a little wrong. The uh, I'm going to stick with the numbers, not what I call the days. Uh, it runs through the 14th, which I was under the assumption was going to be a Monday. It's actually a Tuesday but we're going to leave the numbers alone. It's going to run through the 14th, which is in all actuality a Tuesday. And I'll draw the winners Wednesday, the 15th, and post it here online. And I say winners because there's going to be a humidor winner and a five-pack winner of, of Undercrown 10s, Toros. Possibly two winners of those. I'm play, playing around with the idea. Now, it's pretty simple to enter. Just donate $10 to the... Uh, my uh, PayPal account to support the reviews. Every $10 is one entry. So if you donate $10, you're in there once. If you don't donate $50, you're in there five chances. So it's just that simple. If you just go to that video, which explains it or go to uh, PayPal and uh, donate to my uh, uh, email address, it's easy to find it. It's, it's in the description of every video I do. All right, the second thing is I'm down to four cigars to review, this being one of them. And this, in real time, is Thanksgiving weekend, so I will do three this weekend, and I'll do one next Tuesday, and we'll wrap it up. That'll be all the actual reviews this year of cigars. There'll be other things coming down the road, videos of different things related to cigars, but no more cigar reviews, and then there'll be the year-end recap, top 20, 25, whatever I come up with. Uh, somewhere toward the end of December. Now, that was a lot to go through. Hopefully, you're still awake. All right. The Generoso. I'm going to take off this band at the foot. Usually, I can slide them off like that. And it did. There's simply a uh, 2021 here on that band, which we will no doubt see again later. All right. Now, we're going to... Um, Clip this dome-shaped cap like that. All right, the draw is pretty good. It's got a little firmness to it. I believe it'll work though. A lot of dry hay on the cold draw. Not much on cold draw descriptions, but that one is very much uh, hay. Yeah. 
here we are at light up and uh pretty nice flavors again cedar so citrus peel nice brown sugar quite a bit of cinnamon light leather notes possibly just mixed in with the uh nice black coffee notes there is a lot of a very tingly black pepper which i would rate at an eight minimum if your restaurant hail you will grieve this at least an eight so that's how you start um a pretty good start it's uh it, it nothing is jumping out at me but all the flavor notes are there as i described and i want to see what we, where we go from here uh, at this point it, i can say it's a you know it's a nice cigar something has to jump out and take the lead so let's see what will happen by the first third first third and uh, the cigar is about like it was I can get cedar quite a bit of citrus peel brown sugar cinnamon a little more leather now and black coffee the finish is cedar brown sugar and nutmeg very good lingering black pepper black pepper seems to be pretty good in this cigar medium body the flavor notes are nice they're better than average but not fantastic but i like them at this point i'll rate it 92 for the first third they are nice very nice um Other than the citrus peel being probably the standout flavor, there's nothing really jumping at me right now, but I, I like the mix. And if it can if it can maintain this, we're looking at a 92-ish type cigar. So we'll just have to see. So let's just see what happens in the second third. In the second third, I'm going to remove the band while I speak to you, but the cigar has gotten extremely earthy. The leather notes have just morphed over to straight earth. There's a little cedar, some brown sugar, some cinnamon citrus peel and very earthy black coffee and there's a lot of it a lot of it the finish is pretty much earthy black coffee good lingering black pepper medium body but boy that earthiness is just really in abundance i'm not much on earth other than living here and walking around on it but uh having it in, in my mouth as a flavor is not that not that great now the cigar is just taking a taking a turn that way and it's very earthy it's not horrible yet but I'm rating it 89 for the second third. It's just gotten earthy. I hope that doesn't stick around, but uh, we're going to have to see what the final third has. Well, we're down to the end so let's wrap it up improved a little dry cedar brown sugar cinnamon and earthy black coffee 
there's a black coffee pulled back just a little, giving the cedar, brown sugar, and cinnamon a chance to expand a little bit. Medium to full body. Finish improved. It's now light brown sugar, nutmeg, and black coffee. Good lingering black pepper. Pretty good pepper in the cigar all around. I like that it improves somewhat. It's um, it's now officially on the line with me, so I'm rating it 90. This is a cigar that uh, is okay with me, and it's quite expensive at $21 a piece, so weigh it out for yourself. For, for me, the overall score is 90.33. If you're into rounding, rounded either way you want to go, it's around a 90 cigar. As I thought, um, well, I thought it would be a little better. I thought if, if it stayed at 92, that's pretty good. 90.33 is, is okay. So there you have it. The new Ferio Tigo Generoso 90.33.